So thanks for joining us today, guys. So with when you purchase your first home, or maybe it's your second home, you really have to have a homeowner's insurance binder in order to close. And within the homeowner's insurance binder, a lot of you probably know that your house is covered, but within that binder, you also have personal liability and liability and all that kind of stuff. So I have Jeanette with us here today to talk a little bit more about it so that she can clarify exactly what you're getting within that homeowner's insurance binder. Sure, so first of all, um, as you touched on, homeowner's insurance, uh, first and foremost, is to have coverage so that if you had a catastrophe, a catastrophic loss, you could rebuild your home. We've already talked about that in one of our earlier segments. Yeah. Um, another thing that's covered is your personal belongings up to um, the limit that you set. So if it's $200,000 of stuff in your house, then that would be your personal belongings. Now, liability is something that we rarely really get into when you're going through that home buying process. Exactly, yeah. But that coverage <laughs> is super important. Um, if somebody was to slip and fall on your property, if you were um, legally responsible for, um, for damage that somebody sustained, this would be paid out through your liability yeah. on your homeowner's insurance. And you can set that limit as low with some carriers as $100,000 or as high as a million. Um, and I've even seen some go a little bit higher than that. But depending on really your situation, we would determine what the recommendation is. And so, Matt, for most of the clients that I'm seeing, yeah. majority of them fall within the three hundred to five hundred thousand dollar range for coverage because yeah. we want to make sure that if something happened and there was legal fees, mm -hmm. that they're going to be um, covered and not have yeah. to come out of pocket for any of that. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that, especially for the people who are buying their first home, they get the insurance binder. The lender says, you know, you have to have an insurance binder in order to close. And with that, they just kind of scramble to just try and find one. But it's not necessarily the case that they really thoroughly look it over and they say, wow, what is liability? You know, how much should I have? You know, am I covered? Am I not covered? And unfortunately, you don't find out that you either had enough or didn't have enough until something happens. So I think that it's really important that, you know, you set the right limit. You talk to an insurance provider that can really better explain it to you as to what it is because you really don't want to find out you don't have enough. That's exactly when right. it's really needed. And something to note is, so the person with three children, the person with two dogs, the person with the pool, the person with yeah. um, you know, different <laughs> risks, trampolines. Yeah. yeah, these are all different risks that you want to make sure that you have um, liability coverage for. And so you want to make sure you disclose all of this to your insurance agent. And this is why it's really important to have that um, that discussion about your lifestyle, your what's going on in the home, yeah. um, so that we can make sure that we're appropriately covering you. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I hope that you guys really got some value out of this video. And if you have any questions about liability, homeowners insurance, please feel free to reach out and we'll get uh, Jeanette to give you some answers. Thanks, guys. Thank you.